Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a hot minute since I have done um, any videos because I've literally been so busy with uni and life and in general. So I just thought the first video we could do like, oh, I got my hair. It's been such a long day. But um, long story short, I basically tried to do my, you edit this video for eight o'clock and my whole laptop shut down. So yeah, it has been a chaotic day to say the least, but we move, the show goes on. Um, so I just thought I'd do my first video like back as a catch up. Um, so lots of stuff has been going on. Um, I'm kind of like I don't even know where to start. Like I'm like I was gonna like write a list for it, but then I was like, do you have a timeline? Like what do you even do? So if you follow me on Insta, you'll know that I'm moving to America in four no ten eleven eight nine days nine days. So everything's just a bit surreal. So yeah, I'm moving to America. I also moved flats, and um, so that's how you probably see a different background. Um, so that was eventful. Um, so I'm now living with my friend Caitlin, who I met. She's like my friend from uni. Um, so it's fun. It's so different. Like I feel like my life for the past like couple months has just been so chaotic. Like I've been in Glasgow, and then I've been in Edinburgh. I've been back and forth. Like so much stuff has actually happened. Like I've just not. I've been so busy as well, I feel like I've just not had the time to come on here and actually do anything. Like I always keep saying, no, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and I never actually got into doing it. But here I am, I'm back. Um so yeah, I moved to America in nine days. So I was gonna plan to do like a V vlog, so that's why I was like, do you know what, do a comeback video, then do a V vlog. But yeah, so I'm going to Southern Connecticut State University, which is like an hour, an hour and a half away from New York. So I'm basically flying from Edinburgh on Sunday. My brother's going to take me, not this Sunday, the following Sunday. My brother's going to take me. And I fly to Dublin because obviously like with COVID and stuff, you can't get, I always do this really stupid hand gestures. And with COVID, you can't fly straight there. So I didn't realise that. So I'm now flying from Edinburgh to Dublin and then from Dublin to New York. And then I think there's like a person that like picks me up at New York and takes me to my uni so that'll be eventful. I feel like the past like it's been ongoing for like two and a bit months and it's always just kind of felt like a big dream and now it's like coming up to it. like I've booked my flights, I've booked my transfer, it's all just a bit like crazy. And obviously with like the uni over there there's like cheer and stuff so obviously I do cheer at my uni here at Queen Margaret um, so I'm gonna do it over there as well. So I feel like it'll be fun. It'll be such a good experience. But it is. It's like so crazy. Like all my friends have been like, "You're so chaotic." Like I would have never, if anyone was gonna do this, it definitely would have been you. So I'm buzzing for it. A bit scared because I'm like, "What if I go over there and I actually like don't like it?" Or another thing, my family said to me, "They're like Nicole, you talk so fast. Like they're gonna, str you're gonna need to slow down." So. I mean, that's the other thing. I'm like, I'm just overthinking it so much when it will be fine. Like, it will be so, so fine. So that is my kind of where all my time has been going recently, I guess. Um, I also have been working with my personal training qualification, which is dragging on, but we're getting there. Um, so I've done like a level for, for like qualifying needs to do like a level two and level three. But I also like bought a level four, which is like, extremely hard and I don't know why or how I thought I'd have the time to balance out everything I do at uni and this but we're pushing on I don't know where I get the time or how I do it but I do it um yeah I also if you can realize I'm trying to embrace the natural beauty I've not got lashes on which I can't quite it's a work in progress and I have booked in to get them done before I go to America so it's just like a temporary progress it's not like I'm gonna stop getting them done you know um, but yeah, I'm not really vibing. Like, I just feel like I don't look like me. So it's just been a bit, you know, not vibe. I can't, I just can't, you know, it's just not. Anyway, less with my lashes. Um, so yeah, so that's my big kind of thing that's been going on going for like the past month. Well, not the month, not a month, two, three months. But yeah, I kind of, when I applied for it, just thought like, oh no, like, we just apply and the uni just send you like it's, not like that at all like there's so much like you need to go through you need to go through like your visa you need to do like an application and it wasn't till like my grandma was like oh no you need to do this and i was like well i thought someone else done it for me and she was like no so it's been a very stressful process and obviously with moving flat and stuff in between that has been chaotic so 
I'm either like all or nothing. I feel like I either give all my time to one thing or I'm like, oh, do you know what I mean? So it's just finding a balance is definitely hard, but it'll be, it'll be good, you know, open experience and fun. Um, also, yeah. um, I've been playing like rugby recently, um, <laughs> which is so funny because I literally remember when I first joined uni, I was like, oh my God, like I don't know how anyone can play rugby. Like it's so crazy, so I just can do it. And I played my first game and I scored my first try. And I like honestly would not shut up about it for the next two weeks. I was like, oh my god, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And it was like so much fun. So I really want to try and keep that when I go over there. But my issue is I like always do too much. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I still do it. But it's like I feel like I need to stop branching out so much and actually give myself me time. So it's just something I'm so bad at doing. Like, I never, I'm always on the go. Then it gets to a point where I'm like, oh god, right, okay, maybe I actually need to chill out. But I do, I just, I hate sitting and doing nothing. Like I'm not, I'm not a fan of it, I just get bored. And then when I do sit and do nothing, I feel as if like, oh no, I keep doing something. So, you know, I'm sure that'll be a big part of my experience as well. And as well as that, I've also, I've been playing football as well. Um, with uni, I'm like part of the football team. So I've been keeping busy. Obviously it's just a bit rubbish that COVID has had to like come along and ruin it. Um, not ruin it but it's just like restrictions and stuff for a bit like ugh. which I'm so over like I'm fully over it but you know it's life there's not much that can be done um you know it's not ideal but we move the show goes yeah, on that's really it for tonight and I'm hopefully gonna plan to do a video that's the thing like I have probably like six thousand videos on my camera and it gets to the point where I'm like oh no I'm gonna video that I'm gonna edit and post it and do this and do that and it's like takes forever to edit it and I actually look back at my like first video and I'm like oh my god that is so bad like I look at it and I'm like what like I, I'm pretty sure I even have the camera the right way and the editing just was not a vibe but I'm like we all start somewhere you know you need to bounce up but it's funny it's funny but that's all for me today thank you so much for watching and hopefully I can see you guys again soon bye